she gives like very like neat like she want everybody to baby her and it's like girl you are a grown woman like even though you be dressed like winnie the pooh you're a grown woman sister like what do you mean uh, let's be clear i ain't never took a loss every time i go shopping i ain't gotta check the cost still independent still my own boss still got bad bitches coming up they draws he can beat up like a motherfucking frito luchy flame my hot like a motherfucking cheeto this is not an act i am not don cheeto so the nigga out treat him like a free coat yeah you heard right i'm a whole ass gangster made him eat my butt ain't even say thank you first gonna fuck no nigga i'm a prankster i can make a thug nigga feel like a wankster pull up out my green like she go what's up lucy gang it's your girl lucy v and welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and as you can tell from the title today i'm going to be recapping baddies caribbean episode 19 okay now this was like kind of more of a relaxed episode if you will but i still will recap it for you guys still tell you my opinion so if you would like to know how i felt about it and the tea that went on in this episode then stay tuned to this video right here but first make sure you like Comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. We on a road to 100K. So like, comment, subscribe. All that, all that, all that. And let's get it. Okay, so this episode picked up with um, basically sapphire and mariah like kind of basically like chasing <laughs> bianca off the beach after they ran the favor her sapphire was like you know what i want another round i want another round another round another round is that what chris brown's saying i feel like i'll be confusing the words but y'all get what i'm saying but y'all i'm talking about bianca was power walking to the car y'all i'm talking about she was get up on a good foot hello like them legs was Flickering, baby. She was power walking to that car. She did not want no more with Sapphire, okay? Like, she's a short girl, and them little legs was moving and grooving and flipping and tipping. Baby, do you hear me? Okay, so Sapphire sat outside the car, like, yelling, like, come on, come on, let's do it again. Woo, woo. You know, Bianca had ended up throwing a water bottle out the window and missed Sapphire, but then Bianca did what she does, what she keeps doing. She spit again. Like, you not tired of spitting at people, G? Like, I, I, it's like I can never see it for Bianca now that I see that she's just a spitter. You just keep spitting on people, like, or spitting at people, trying to spit on people. Like, why? Like, that is the most trifling Y'all heard me talk about that in plenty of other videos because she's been spitting all season. I'm I, I'm just flabbergasted every time she spits, though, because it's like, you really, you really doing this. Like, you really keep spitting at people. Like, you really just, like, that's your tea. Like, that's your bop. That's how you give it up. Like, you're, a, that's trifling. That's trifling. I'm sorry. Now, I did see a, some people um you know a little clip the clip of sapphire sitting outside of the car taunting bianca went viral and a lot of people was like oh she ain't have this energy for et well i mean i feel like the difference is bianca kicked this off and just like attacked her out of nowhere for no reason like i do agree she did not have the same energy for et but it's like also like bianca attacked her from out of nowhere she spit at her multiple times she put her wig in the toilet like i feel like Bianca took the disrespect to a whole nother level with her than E.T. did. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the situation with E.T., it really was like y'all wanted her to defend Suki. Like, this is, this girl has attacked her. Like, um, and Bianca was in her confessional like, yeah, the baddest experience was not what I was expecting. It's like we can't even ever go out without it being a fight. Baby girl, you came on your very first episode, you came right in sneaking people. So what you talking about? You came right in kicking it off with the scuffles. You came right in sneaking Sapphire. So it's like, how you mad that she want to keep whacking you now? I'm confused. Girl, and then you be spitting on people. Girl, please, please, Bianca, please, chicken noodle, please, with a soda on the side, please the star let it rain and clear it out my girl so anyways they get on the boat 
and they start discussing, you know, the little scuffles that just happened with Mariah, Sapphire, and Bianca. And, you know, Natalie is talking about how Sapphire did her big one and she works Bianca and woo woo, which no tea, no shade. You know, Sapphire has not really been known as like, you know, a, a heavy hitter, but she did, she did eat up Bianca. I ain't gonna lie. But it was like Bianca was not really swinging, she was just pulling and tugging. And it's like, Sapphire is a tall girl with long arms. You got to swing on her, baby. You can't just be tugging and pulling. You got to swing on Sapphire. I ain't gonna lie. Now, Rowley starts to say that Mariah did not win. She said she felt like Sapphire won her round with Bianca, but she feels like Bianca tore Mariah up. And I mean, I personally, I mean, some people said there's another angle where it looked like Bianca was getting more hits. I watched a clip and somebody had a little hit counter and Mariah got more hits in. I don't care. I don't feel like Mariah got whoops. That's just my personal opinion. You can don't have to agree from what my eyeball saw. It, it did not give Bian Bianca to a Mariah up. I'm sorry. But, um, you know, Mariah had kind of gotten her feelings when Rowley said that she got off the boat. She needed to calm down. And I was glad she calmed down and got back on the boat because it was lit. They was turned up on the boat. It looked like they was having a lot of fun. I love like those moments with them where you see their real personality shine. They smiling, turning up, twerking, living their best life type of energy. Like, I just wish we had more scenes like that, like, you know, and just not so much filler, just steady talking about the same stuff over and over again. The drama, like we need more of the personality. I feel like that's what's missing from baddies, like more of the funness, more of the lit moments more of the girls not in distress like you know what i'm saying because like half the episodes be them in distress them worried about okay am i finna have to run a fade am i you know what i'm saying i just want more happy moments that's just my personal opinion though, okay so the next day they go to santo domingo which i um guess is that's where biggie and her family is from and oh excuse me some of the girls are going to split up. Half of them are going to go do like a charity thing with Natalie. And then some of them are going to go um, with Biggie to visit her family. Now, Meatball was in bed when everybody else was up getting dressed, ready to start the day. And they was like, you know, banging on pots and pans, dancing around like, Meatball, get up, get up, get up. And she starts huffing and puffing like, no, because I don't feel like getting dressed because people are so fake and woo, woo, woo. So Scotty and them like, who's fake, girl? And she like, well, I just feel like Biggie be acting the type of way when she get around y'all she be acting different between different like when it's just me and her and well i'm like yo this girl meatball just always has an issue bro like she gives like very like neat like she want everybody to baby her and it's like girl you're a grown woman like even though you be dressed like winnie the pooh you're a grown woman sister like what do you mean like What's the tea, my girl? Like, I don't know. I, I don't I don't get her. Even when they tried to explain the situation with her and Biggie when they got in the car later on, and she was all like, Oh, this is over a shrimp. Like, I had seven shrimp and you asked for one of my shrimp. Like, like what? Y'all getting into it over so a, a shrimp? Some of you asked for one of my seven shrimp. Like, what? Zeus, why you not feeding these girls for real? Because getting into it over a shrimp is crazy work. Like, uh, what? When they, I didn't even understand what was happening when they start explaining that situation. Like, yeah, I had seven shrimp. Girl, what? Then you counting the shrimp? Who be counting the shrimp? Baby, all right. All right, let me go on, on to the next subject because don't, don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. For real, okay? So then... um. In the Sprinter or whatever, the car, the Sprinter, whatever it was, the chain situation comes up again. And Tinkabella, you know, she congratulates Asian Doll on her getting the chain. And then she starts crying, you know, over the fact how Meatball wasn't happy for her. And, you know, she felt like she should have been congratulating her and all that, you know, give her, her her flowers, even though she didn't get her chain yet. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I'm over the chain talk, y'all. I'm over the chainsaw. Cue the Grammy music. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap this chainsaw. Uh, hey, hey, hey. On Betty's Midwest and Betty's Gone Wild, it better not be not Nan Chain talked about. 
I don't even want to hear. Shh. Don't say no words that start with. Shh. 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 Don't, don't say nothing with a shh in it. Because I, I'm tired of the chains. If it, if you say anything that sounds like chain, rain, gang, I don't want to hear none of that on next season. None of that. You hear me? Okay, so in the other sprinter, that's where Meatball and Biggie was discussing the shrimp situation. I'm not going to talk about it again because, baby, getting into it over one shrimp, please, please, get out my face with that. Get out my face with that. For real. Get out my face with that. Okay, so Biggie takes Tasiki and Anna to meet her family. You know, it was a cute little moment. I really don't have much to say about it. That was, you know, kumbaya. Mama say, mama say, mama kusa. I don't know. It was, it was a cute little moment. I felt like this episode, uh, we could have combined this with another episode or something because it uh, wasn't really much going on. No shame. Okay, so in the next episode, it looks like Anna and Biggie will be getting into it. Nunu and Anna arguing again. Tinkabella and Callie arguing. And guess what? The honorary cast member, the chain, is going to be brought up again on the next episode. <sighs> Come on. Treat it like a mummy and wrap it up. Treat it like a mummy and wrap it up. I'm tired of the chain talk. I ain't going to hold y'all. I'm tired of it. I, I, hey, Natalie, order... Order 38 chains next time and just hand them out like Tic Tacs, please, because I don't want to hear this on the next season. Ciao. But anyways, you guys, that was the end of this recap. It's not that long like usual because, like I said, it was it was a lot of talking and filler and talking about stuff that we already talked about on the other episodes. Like, I just, yeah. Yeah, baby, so... Some people was even commenting like, you don't even got to recap this episode. Well, I wasn't even finna chance it because some of y'all would have been in my DMs like, where is it? What? So here we are. And now I'm about to film the recap to Young and Reckless because that episode was juicy. And no shade. Hey, Young and Reckless kind of ate, ate baddies up on this last episode, okay? But yeah, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.